Hello there, in this episode I'm going to be talking about MIP BIOS in Unreal Engine 5. Um, when you're working on mobile devices, mobile projects, um, this is pretty useful when you're dealing with um, texture streaming issues, some big textures that you have to um, let them stay in your game when you are in those kind of situations. you will find yourself uh, trying to find other solutions like me bias which is exactly what you see here so when you are too far away from a texture it's just super super blurry the quality is like really really low but what when you get close to it just gets visible I mean, not visible the quality gets much much higher so this is exactly the same texture but the texture here as you can see is a little bit more high quality um, I'll fix the issue right now it, this is just to present uh, how the effect looks to you so let's get started so first of all you need to find your um, first of all you know what first of all this is a game that I've published in um, Google Play Store you can just go ahead and download it if you want to buy the game just go ahead and buy it in the place so that would be a huge support but if you want to just try the game for free just uh, email your comment your email in the comment section on it, this video and I'll send you the link for the APK um, okay so first of all you have to find a mesh that you want to do this to the textures I find I found it and I've bashed all the uh, meshes all together so I have to find it like this uh, then go to the material uh, all the way through the material itself in the texture sample though there's an option um, called MIP value mode so this is by default this is set to none go ahead and change it to MIP bias uh, and sampler sampler source must be from texture uh, from texture asset yeah and hit apply and save um, then let's go ahead into the texture make sure the MIP gen settings it's set to from texture group this is very important if it's set to something else this won't work then you can just go ahead and hold S um, call it MIP bias probably and set uh, and connect it to the bias I don't want to do that because I'm not uh, you know what? Actually, maybe that's a better idea. Yeah, me bias. I'll set the default value to one and hit apply. And then when you come here, uh, we have the material instance here. You can, in real time, you can change it. So, if I set it to three. Uh, it will be too harsh but two might be a good idea to have because everything that's closer to the camera is streaming full quality and everything that's uh, like not as close to the camera are, uh, is streaming with a little bit lower quality so two to me uh, seems like a good deal and make sure when you're doing this you connect this thing into all of your textures in the material so make sure that you go into all of your textures and set the MIP value mode to MIP bias and sampler source to from texture asset um, and that's pretty, pretty much it when you're working on mobile projects this is really helpful this will help the performance sometimes up to this it will make the performance better up to like twice sometimes so it's it's really really useful I'd recommend you using it when you're working on mobile and if you're working on PC maybe you could go ahead and set this to free no one would notice no not three I'm sorry to one no one would notice what you did but what you did is eventually sa saving the texture streaming um, bucket cost so it will just reduce the amount of load that the texture streaming is uh, tolerating at the moment so if you just look at the textures right here they're not even streamed into the memory so let's say the texture here is 2x2 two two 
and texture here is 2k uh, but if you were going to stream all of them at 2k that would be like one two three three meshes streaming three 2k textures into the uh, texture streaming into the memory so instead of that instead of just probably t streaming probably 15 megabytes to the memory you can easily go ahead and stream probably seven megabytes to the memory so that's a pretty good optimization to me um if you don't want to do it manually then there's a uh, command console for it if you come here and type in r dot max uh and it's tr and it's taught and it's i always pronounce it wrong i'm sorry uh max and it's and probably hit zero two uh four eight or sixteen uh everything should be a power of two uh the higher the better but you won't have the option to do this so all the textures should be okay. um the textures should be the MIP value mode should be none so it will just use computed MIP level and you won't have this node called bias here but you can't optimize the game really really heavily with this uh, R dot max and Nisotropy thing. Uh, and that's it. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Uh, if you want to play the game uh, on your phone but you don't want to pay for it or support it, just let me know in the comment sections and I will send you the APK. It is only for Android at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to publish it for iOS though. Maybe in the future, I don't know. Um, but that's it. Have a great day. Bye.